40 Voice can store call data, such as voicemail, recorded calls, and faxes locally, but the system can also be configured to work with network storage solutions, or NAS, for more storage. The 40 Voice supports Internet Small Computer Systems Interface, or iSCSI for short. Let's take a look at how to configure iSCSI on the popular free NAS solution, TrueNAS, and how to set it up with the 40 Voice. In a web browser, log in to TrueNAS. Once logged in, we will first need to enable the NFS service. Click on Services in the left-hand menu. Enable iSCSI under the Running column and ensure that Start Automatically has been selected. Under Storage, select Pools and click the Add button. Create New Pools is selected by default, so let's select Create Pool. Here, we will need to add a name for the pool in the Name field. Select which available disk to use and then select the arrow button to move the selected disk over to the Data VDEV section. Once the disk has been moved, you will now be able to select the Create button. On the pop-up, select Confirm and then Create Pool. Once the pool is created, you will see that it is online and we are ready to move on. Next, select the menu on the right-hand side, then add Zvol. Enter a name in the Zvol name section, then under Size for the Zvol, enter how much space you would like to use on your selected disk. Select Submit to create the Zvol. Zvol has now been added and is ready for use. Now create the iSCSI share by selecting Sharing in the left-hand menu, then Block Shares. We can leave the default information under Target Global Configuration, as is, and select Portals, then Add. Enter Description, then select the IP address that will be used to listen on. Next, enter the port to be used. The default is 3260. When done, select Submit. Confirm that the portal has been added. Select Initiators group, and then Add. Check the box for Allow All Initiators, and then select Save you will see the initiators group has been added. The 40 voice requires that a username and password be used to access the iSCSI storage. Create this by selecting Authorize Access, and then Add. Enter a group ID. Here we are using one. Then create a username in the user field. Enter a password and confirm the password. Then select Submit. This user is now ready to be used. Now select Targets, and then Add. Enter a target name for the portal group ID. Select the group created earlier. For the initiator group ID, select all initiators allowed, then select submit. The target is now ready to use. Next, click on extents, then add. Enter a name under device, select the Zvol created earlier, then select enable TPC. When done, select submit, and the extents setting are ready for use. Now select associated targets, and then add. Select the target created earlier, then enter LUN ID. If you're not sure what this should be, leave it blank to have the next available one selected automatically. Then select the extent created in the last step. When done, select Submit, and the associated target is ready for use. That completes the TrueNAS iSCSI setup. To configure the 40 voice, first log in as an administrator using a web browser. Go to System, Configuration, Storage, and select NAS. Next, select iSCSI and enter the username and password that was created in TrueNAS under the Authorized Access. Next, enter the IP address or FQDN of your TrueNAS server, then enter the port. Select Apply. Before the 40 Voice and TrueNAS can work together, you will need to format the iSCSI drive. To do this, select Test, and when the link appears, select Click Here to format the device. You will be prompted if you are sure you want to format the device. Select OK. Please wait at least 5 minutes for the process to complete. Afterwards, select Refresh. With the 40 Voice and TrueNAS now mounted together, the status will show OK and is ready to use. We hope this has helped you configure 40 Voice with TrueNAS using iSCSI. Thanks for watching and have a great day.